Simplified Chaos, Episode 61. Life is beautiful and full of chaos. And it can get slightly out of hand if that shit's not tamed. We're here to share how to simplify the little things to help you lead a more intentional life. This is Simplified Chaos. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to Simplified Chaos. This is Jillian, one of your hosts, and I'm with my co-host and husband, Nicholas. What's going on, folks? Hope you all are having a great day. Jilly, we've got another great episode for our listeners. What are we diving into? How to make your life less boring. Oh. Ha. It's all about spontaneity. (laughs) I love spontaneity. We had a very spontaneous weekend last weekend. Just reflecting, I feel like most of our fun adventures are all spontaneous. Oh, I don't know. We have some pretty good planned adventures, but it's like the unknown about being spontaneous. That's pretty damn cool. And just kind of like how everything falls into place. Like last Saturday was perfect. And we're going to leave you with that cliffhanger (laughs) because we don't want to give everything away. But as always... And if you're new to the show, I'd like to show a little gratitude before we dive into our topic. So, Jilly, what are you grateful for today? I'm grateful for two things. I'm grateful. Two things? Yeah. Oh, all right. This is something off script. Go for it. <laughs> so, I'm big for social media because um, I was able to reconnect with an old high school friend and see her in Texas when I was there this past weekend for That's awesome. a teacher's conference. So, I'm grateful for having that vehicle for an able uh, an ability to connect with people so i saw her face to face and it was just phenomenal like no time had passed and we had an awesome lunch to get a dinner and we just hung out and just just reflected on life and how you know what life was like before and where we are now and it was just really really epic and then i'm also great it's always good to catch up with good friends (laughs) yeah and that's going to be a reoccurring theme in this episode oh yes it is yeah uh but i'm also grateful for you because me you man i'm you i'm in this gratitude (laughs) segment a lot well i went away for three days and (laughs) you had to take charge of the home and lucille and i'm very very grateful that you support me and investing in myself and trying to grow and whatever that looks like even if i fly all the way to texas to do that for more than two days it was really really lovely to get away and kind of refresh so i'm thank you Always be learning, Jilly. Always be yes. learning. And it's worth the investment wherever it learning takes you or wherever you do it. Absolutely. And obviously there was a lot of benefits for you going away. And I'm glad you had the opportunity to do that. So yeah. anytime, baby. Thank happy you. Happy to help. What about you? So I'm happy for our co-living partners because they were definitely very helpful as far as maintaining this household while you were gone um you know we were uh doing dinners a little bit late just because you know i get home later and um some of the other folks in the in the household get home a little bit later so it was a teamwork and you know your sister really helped out a lot with with dinners and uh her fiance also helped out a lot with the kids and everything like that so You know, it made things a little bit easier, a little bit less stressful. And, you know, I'm just really grateful that they were able to pitch in and help out. So good support system we have here. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to share an episode where we all talk about this whole co-living situation because I'm sure a lot of you are very interested in seeing how this works for everybody. But we're going to leave you hanging for a little bit. I think this is going to be one that, you know, we're going to have all four of us here and, and talk a little bit about it. And We may learn something a little bit new about each other, too, during that episode. Yeah, there's a lot of people that have questions about what our situation looks like and how it's working. So that'll be a fun conversation to have. Absolutely. So without further ado, let's talk about this interesting adventure we had last weekend and really helped us, you know, come up with this idea of why spontaneity is a great thing. So... It's such a great thing. I was reflecting on our flight to Texas. 
hashtag spot spontaneous Saturday. I don't know. We should start a hashtag. Spontaneous where, Saturday. <laughs> where you like either a Sunday or Saturday where you just take the day and just leave it open for whatever you want to do and whatever it unfolds. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what was so cool about our past Saturday is that we had no plans. It was wide well, we open. We did have plans. We did. Yeah. For the evening. Okay. So we yeah. had plans for a double date, but that yes. was it. Yeah. The whole day was open and... I have been eyeing up this coffee shop that is in Virginia, and it's about an hour and a half away, maybe not quite, and the reason I wanted to go there was because it had a play center for kids, so it was like a coffee shop and kids could play. Yep. We got spoiled when we were in St. Louis because yes. there was an awesome coffee shop about three blocks from the Airbnb that we were staying in, and Lucille had an amazing time there, and I, we've talked about it on a couple of previous episodes about the coffee shop and it was awesome and i wish there were more of those closer to us yeah but unfortunately i think the only one that we were really able to find was in sterling virginia which yeah you're right it was an hour and 15 minute drive but before we dive into that if anybody knows of any coffee shops closer in maryland and they have a nice play area for kids to just do what they want to do let us know because i mean Yes, driving an hour and 15 minutes was awesome, but if there's something closer, I'd love to, <laughs> to check that out too. Yes, yeah, so I just, I could not believe how the events, the events unfolded that day. It was just pretty spectacular looking back on it. So yeah. we decided to drive to Virginia, so we're on our way to Virginia. Well, oh, let's rewind that a little bit. Okay. Yeah, so the day before was my birthday, Valentine's Day, the big 3-8. And the next day, you know, we had just uh, we had a friend in town from Copenhagen um, who we visited earlier um, in 2019. We had a whole episode on that trip, which was awesome. And we got to just kind of chill on my birthday. And, you know, I don't like doing anything big for that. You know, we he came over, we hung out, we grabbed some takeout for dinner. We made a couple of cocktails and it was just a fun night. We had a lot of laughs. We had a lot of laughs. Oh. It was great catching up with him. <laughs> Um, but then sun or Saturday came around and you were like, well, you know, it was your birthday. Is there anything fun you want to do today? And I was like, we really don't have anything going on. And I was like, what are your thoughts about going and checking out that coffee shop in Sterling? And you were just like, hell yeah, let's do it. And so we were like, all right, off we go. We did. <laughs> so... Off we went to Sterling, Virginia, not knowing what to expect, but it had a fantastic play area for kids. Um, the coffee was really good. Yeah. We got some snacks and we were hanging out and I got to meet another parent, actually a grandmother who was from originally, I think she said she was from Sweden. So it was yes. kind of cool talking to her about what brought her here and how she's watching her grandchild. But anyway, we were connecting with just new people and randomly... You were like, hey, I think my friend Winnie lives out here. Why don't we see if we can meet up with him? Yeah, you know, it was, it was great because we were driving on the dullest toll road, which nobody likes the dullest toll road. But I was just like, hey, I think Winnie lives in this area. There's a concert venue called Wolf Trap that we and I saw a sign for that. And I immediately remember it's like, oh, yeah, he just moved here about a year ago. And I was like, you know, we should... uh I was like, I wonder if he would be open for us to come hang out. And you were like, you know what? When we get to the coffee place, because I was driving at the time, you're like, when we get to the coffee place, text him. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to do that. So we got to the coffee place. We sat down. Um, Lucille was playing a little bit. And then when, when I finally got a break to kind of enjoy my coffee, because we take shifts, there was food involved. And, you know, Lucille, all she wanted to do was play, which was awesome. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I was like, all right. I was like, I texted my buddy. I was like, I know this may be not, it won't be a, a good timing or whatever. And I was like, but, you know, we're actually in a coffee shop in Sterling, Virginia, about 10 minutes from where you live. I was like, would it be cool if we just pop in and, and you know, say hi? And I had not met either one of his, uh, his daughter or his son yet. So I was like, you know, wonder if, uh, you know, we can go and meet them. And, you know, he was like, yeah, man. He's like, it'd be great to see you. By the way, this other friend who I've known since I was seven years old is also on his way over. He hadn't been over in a while. And so it was just like, all this came together and it was just 
because we decided to go to a coffee shop mm-hmm. out of the blue had something that sparked my memory that hey my buddy lives out in this area and then all this just came together and you know then we go over and hang out and have a great two and a half hours with uh, you know their kids lucille has a new friend now it was just awesome and i i just think reflecting back on it there's just something to say when you leave space to do things that are new and unknown but you know that it's going to make you happy so mm-hmm. coffee makes us happy oh, Luc- absolutely <laughs> lucille having a space to play because it's been pretty cold lately indoor like having a, a place where she can play that's not in our house all the time and we're like these are two great things that are together like why not check it out yeah. even if it's quote unquote maybe inconvenient like not as close but it's like why not and just the the simple act of just trying a new place it just opened the doors to meeting new people at the coffee shop and then meeting up with friends and then mm-hmm. seeing other friends there and then just having awesome human connection and there's I don't I feel like I'm embracing more of the power of just being face to face and having good conversation with really good people. Yes. It just fills me up so much more than I ever thought before. And I think because we're really being intentional with who we surround ourselves with and I feel like we're very grateful that the people we see that are just um, they're phenomenal. Mhm. Like nobody's depleting from us. They're not stealing our energy. They're not what do they call the energy vampires? <laughs> And it was just so crazy how just that one simple act of going out of the way and doing something we've never done before led to hanging out with friends that we hadn't seen in such a long time. Yeah. Also, I think the the other thing that I really saw was like the way that Lucille was interacting in the play area. There, So this play area was, was actually pretty cool. They had a, a big room and then they had a little section that was kind of quarantined off from the other kids, which was for kids that were under two years old. Mm -hmm. Um, And Lucille was in there for a while, but then there was a lot more kids in the over two year old area. (laughs) And she was just really curious and and started going over there and interacting with them. And Mm -hmm. it was just really cool seeing her, you know, because she doesn't have, she's not in daycare or anything like that. So she's not around kids all the time. This is something that she's gradually learning. So it was really cool just to see her, get the courage to just go over there and, and be a part of that. And, you know, some of the kids were, were playing a little bit rougher than the other ones. So you kind of had to keep a, a, a watchful eye on her, <laughs> Yeah, but she did great. And, you know, I love that she was being, you know, a little more um, outgoing as far as trying to be around other kids. So, you know, it was just kind of cool to see that development and, and another, I think, positive from that day. And also the car ride home. Ah, uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> I think the that, car ride home was was definitely fun. That was the pro of it being over an hour away is that we got to have some really great conversation on the way back while Lucille, I think, was sleeping. I think she fell asleep uh, on the fall, way back. Yeah, she, yeah, I think she did. She had a, a long day. So, she. oh, yeah, she was definitely out. Yeah, somehow I I see this connection when you follow things that – you desire to do like we desire to have coffee we desire to to play i find that it leads to more creativity in us the more things that we do that make us feel really good and are joyful to us and that fill us up it's like they somehow lead to more creative thoughts and we had this really great conversation on the way back of just our future yeah no that was a very big reflection and a lot of discussion of where we want this podcast to go and then where we want you know, maybe our professional lives to go. And I don't know how much to share. Maybe I'll just keep that buttoned up for now. But yeah, yeah, I think it is until we figure it out. But, yeah. you know, we were, were looking at different business ventures mm-hmm. and feel like we have a really good idea that we're building on. And and that we, we started building on that a, about a week or two ago mm-hmm. when you were getting your nose ring, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> your hoop for your nose ring. And, you know, we had a good conversation while we were waiting for the piercing shop to open. And then we've kind of taken it to the next level. So, yeah, we, hopefully we'll have some some cool announcements in the future on that. But, oh, you know, we we're, we're uh, you know, we're really looking at, um, you know, a, a business opportunity and particularly that you'll spearhead, you know, and, and move forward with. But yeah, it's exciting and scary as hell it's scary but i'm Most glad exciting. we had that that, <laughs> yeah. that car ride i feel like when we both got home we were just like re i don't i don't, I don't even want to say rejuvenated but like just 
ready to take action. I think I yeah, I bought a web domain. Yeah. Uh, we we thought of put up name all this we put company. up all the social media like we we got all the handles on social media. It was just like yeah. a, it was like we've got to do this, we got to do this and this was like all before we went out on a, a double date for a sushi dinner. <laughs> yeah, like on the way home just as having that simple conversation. I mean, I could tell it is so aligned with where I'm at right now and the changes I want to make because I got home feeling like I had five shots of espresso and I was like, "Woo, <laughs> baby, let's go. And we get to the double date with our friends and um, I was just like, I'm so freaking excited. Yeah. And they're like, what is, what is happening? I was so amped. You would have thought maybe I was slightly intoxicated or that I did have a lot of caffeine. But Well, then was, you had <laughs> a whole thing of sake. Well, that was after the yeah. fact. But man, I was just like, I was feeling on fire because, and that just is a sign that my body is excited and it's ready for this change, this really big, scary change. And it just, it, it much aligns to kind of like our day, the spontaneous day, the taking risks in a way and how taking risks or doing things that may make you uncomfortable because it's slightly unknown. It just leads to some phenomenal things if you're open to it and yeah. you accept it. And, you know, what we were talking about is something that's aligned with our values. And the more and more we talk with people, and even it was it was validated that day just out of a conversation. We weren't even trying to, to dig or, or pry into anything, but just what I've overheard from conversations from people and things that are difficult in their days. I think we have a, a solution for that that is going to help a lot of people out. So I'm really excited to to help you build that out and, and see, you know, where it goes. But, you know, it's we're, we're getting some validation that we're on the, the right track with that. So, yeah, I mean, again, spontaneity, going to a coffee shop. Who knows how our day would have gone right? if we didn't do that? Like it could have been just a normal day. I, I was planning on possibly finishing Lucille's closet, which is a project that I've been putting off for probably about six weeks now. <laughs> it's all good. And we definitely wouldn't have had that conversation no. if I finished Lucille's closet. If we do <laughs> what we normally do instead of right. just doing something different. And I actually thought of, I mean, I thought it was a dy dynamite quote when I was journaling on the plane ride. Too much structure is the death to creativity. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like we are such creatures of habits and we love routine and structure, but we have to dabble and mix it up to make life interesting. Because if we keep doing the same thing over and over again, how are we going to grow and how are we going to change? You know, what, what joy lies in doing the same thing over and over again? I feel like we're living Groundhog Day. Oh, yeah. No, <laughs> Bill Murray can tell you that that's not a, a good thing. So, you know, it's it's good to, to throw that in. I'm not saying that you have to be spontaneous in everything that you do, no, but no. make sure you mix it in. Yeah, and it kind of makes me think about um, the way we cook. Monday through Friday, we do yeah. designated meal nights. So it's like we have a meal for each day of the week, but then on the weekends, it's open for spontaneity. Yeah. And that's what's so exciting. Wild is because card weekends. We do fridge dump weekends. Like we we take what we have in the fridge and we just create something with it. And that's what leads yeah, you to You truly creativity. don't know what you're going to get on the no. weekends because there is leftovers <laughs> and it's like, okay, let's see how we can be creative. And more, mostly you, you're, you're the one creative in the uh, cooking department and you're just like, all right. Let's just throw some eggs in this shit and, you know, we've got ourselves a hodgepodge <laughs> breakfast. But the more I do it, the better I get. Like, that's the thing. I didn't think I was that good at it before, but I think the more that I'm practicing spontaneity on yeah. the weekends with food, it's like it's starting to trickle in in other parts of her life. And I think that how you do one part of your life is how you can do other parts of your life. And yeah, so right now I would say our life is 80% structure and 20% spontaneity, but I'm kind of... That I kinda, sounds... I kind of want to tweak it to be maybe 70% structure and have a little bit more spontaneity. But I really like, obviously we thrive on routines because that's what makes life a little bit easier and I feel like less chaotic. But yes. I want to trickle in a little bit more spontaneity in our life. And uh, Saturday was just a great example of why. And yeah. not only did it fuel us to, to meet new people and rekindle friendships that we hadn't seen in a while, but I think it also makes us kinder because we're doing things that we really enjoy, right? it makes us happier people, which means that we're happier to each other. We're happier to Lucille. We're more yeah. patient parents. So I feel like it does something to our personality and 
just the way we handle chaos. And I want to say that a lot of that also wouldn't be possible if we didn't have like the routines. Like I, I feel like the routines allow us to be spontaneous mm. because we have we know when we're cleaning up stuff in the house and we, we really try our best to keep things in order to really maximize our weekends. You know, we have we have we have responsibilities around the house. There's things we have to take care of. For sure. But we trickle some of that stuff in during the week so that again on the on the weekends that we have this is the, because we're at work 40 hours a week yeah think about it and, and when we're home together what do we have maybe two and a half hours together in the evenings three if we're lucky mm-hmm. um but then on the weekends it's like it's our time to be together so let's do the things that are, are fun and, and you know re- reminds us of why we you know, we love each other and, and the, the relationship. So I, I feel like, yeah, the, the routines are important because they allow us to be spontaneous. Oh, I 100% agree. I think structures and routines and rhythms are what have helped us be happier. Getting rid of shit yeah. that was in the way and then just streamlining mm-hmm. our life so that way we could enjoy our time fully when we were together and yeah. not stressing out about oh God, the house, like we have to clean the house or you have to do laundry or who's going to do the grocery shopping. It's like we've developed systems and routines Mm -hmm. to simplify the hell out of our life. So that way we're spending time together and doing things that do fill us up. Hell yeah. Oh, (laughs) I'm just reflecting on it just makes me feel like on fire again. It was just such an awesome. Yeah. Just, (laughs) you know, thinking about that day, it's, it's like, We've had a, you know, you've had a trip. I've had a, a long week at work this week. And, you know, just even thinking about it just refuels that fire. And it's just like, it reassures that we're on the right track. Like, I, I just feel good about the direction that we're heading and excited for what the, the future has in store for us. So we're just going to keep on moving. We're going to throw some spontaneity in our lives and, you know, see where it leads us because for right now, I mean, it's it's been such a great thing. A great value add in our life. For sure. We grow from challenges and not from comfort. So yeah, it just that's even 100% f- accurate. forces me to just get out of our comfort zone. Stop doing always what we're doing and try something new. Definitely. Oh, That's what we did when we started this podcast. We were like, yeah, this is a little out of our comfort zone. And oh, for sure. I feel very comfortable now. But the interviews are like a new level of uncomfort. Yeah. We're just up leveling ourselves yeah. a little bit, little bit, you know. One up. Like I'm never Mario. gonna feel like I'm doing everything perfect, but you know, we're You just have to do it. You just do it. Yeah. There's no try, just do, right? Exactly. Thanks, Michelle. Thanks, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So anything else you wanna add or are you ready to dive into some resources here? I'm ready to dive into some resources. Let's get it. All right. Let me just zoom in because my oh. computer just zoomed out and it's like 73%. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, so the resource is a blog post I found. It's titled How Not to Be Boring. <laughs> That's pretty straightforward. Um, and it's on lifehack.org and we will- That is a great website, by the way. I have never yeah. found it until today. Yeah. Life hack, or is it, was it life hacker or is it life Just life hack. hack. Okay, maybe that's a different, I'm used to lifehacker.com maybe. Oh. Uh, Probably same concept. Probably. We will put this in the show notes as well in case you want to read the whole blog post. Um, so they just kind of give you some tips. Just a tip. Just a tip. They give you some tips on basically how not to be boring and how to add more spontaneity in your life. And there was probably about seven, but I'm only going to name three that kind of really jumped out at me. Look at the world through a child's eyes. Children are endlessly curious, and you should be too. You may have much more in the way of experience than a five-year-old child, but there is still a lot of stuff that you don't know too. The only way to develop new insights is by trying new things Mm -hmm. regularly, much like a child who thrusts himself or herself into the unknown. And Lucille does that all the time. Yeah, Yeah. I I love that you always say that, you know, she's been the the person who's helped us learn a lot about ourselves oh my gosh so much and we forget how it's like to be a child along the way and have those curiosities and and almost i mean she's still fearless like there there's certain things that she knows not to do but i mean she still has that fearlessness in her and i feel like as adults we need to be more fearless as well 
it's like coming full circle. We forget what it was like. And she kind of reminds us to get back in that zone and try it again. The second thing I wanted to talk about that the day list is to reduce time wasters. Things like TV and mindless internet surfing eat up huge chunks of our time. Yep. They give you an excuse to be lazy instead of spontaneous. When you don't rely on these crutches, it becomes much easier to act more carefree. Yep. And I can't tell you how many weekends in the past, like before I think we started this journey of just living with more intention, a lot of my weekends were spent in front of the TV. Yeah, we've had weekends where we're like, hey, we're going to watch a full season of this program or something like that and just be completely cool with that. And I couldn't tell you the last time we did it. And we've not we haven't been bored at all. Like we've we find stuff to do. We're creative with things to do. You know, we, we're taking trips, we're hiking, we're doing these things. We're going to coffee shops an hour and 15 minutes away. And it's awesome. And thinking back on, I'm not saying that watching a lot of TV is bad, but thinking back, like when I'm done watching a lot of TV, I never feel energized. No. I never feel creative or motivated. I kind of am just like, eh. Or maybe it makes me want to watch more TV. Like it's that it just draws you in to do it more. And I know there's science behind it that's very addictive, but I never have felt that kind of energy that I've never felt. feel fulfilled. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So true. All right. Um, the last tip I'm going to share is to stop waiting for the perfect time. There is no perfect time. If there is something that you want to do, the best time to do it is now. For example, if it's raining and you want to dance, don't let the presence of other people stop you. The rain may have stopped them. Lucille's a prime example of that. Oh my gosh. That chick yes. wants to go out in the rain and just dance in the puddles. My and whole, I'm, gonna, yeah. I'm not going to stop her. My whole perception on weather has changed. Like, I don't see weather as bad or good. It's the gear, right? It's just like, put the right gear on and get your ass yeah. out there. Yeah. Like, why shouldn't we enjoy the weather like we used to when we were kids? We why never not? complained about, it's cold, it's wet. We we're like, no, let's get outside. Let's go outside and splash in some puddles. Right? Hell yeah. Ugh. Awesome. Cool, cool. All right, Jilly. How about the quote of the day? The quote of the day is a quote from Jane Austen in the book of oh, Emma. All right. Yes. Jane Austen. I'm so excited because I'm a You huge ladies love Jane Austen. Man, Pride and Prejudice I is know. my jam. Yeah. Y'all like your timepiece. Uh, Mr. Darcy. Oh, God. <laughs> Mr. Darcy. <laughs> One day you're going to put on some high pants high waisted yeah. pants and some is big that, boots and going on? walk through the moors maybe i'll be fall. spontaneous one day and <laughs> show up as mr darcy oh panty drop uh, well <laughs> that would be the the game plan that would be the only reason why i did that oh okay so <laughs> the quote is why not seize the pleasure at once how often is happiness destroyed by preparation foolish preparation foolish it's true. Sometimes we get so caught in the planning that we forget to just enjoy the moment and just yeah. live it up. And whatever happens, happens. Do you. <laughs> don't let other people do you. It, oh, you don't want. Like don't, TV. Oh, jeez. I'm kidding. <laughs> I was like, I don't know where you're going with this. I'm not going anywhere with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And what kind of t- action do we want our listeners to take? All right. So today, folks, we... Our take action challenge or your take action challenge. And it kind of motivates us to Our keep challenge doing. for you. <laughs> Our <laughs> challenge for you is to stop planning every minute of your days and just let go of control to enjoy the beauty of what unfolds organically. Love it. Be spontaneous. Yes. That's awesome. <laughs> So before we close, uh, just want to let you every, everybody know that we will be going to the ninth annual Baltimore Bartenders Guild Rise Up event, which is a fundraiser for cystic fibrosis. We put the link on our website. If you're in the Maryland area, we hope you'll join us. It's a, a great cause. Tickets are $70 for one person. If you go as a couple, it's $125. What a deal. And it's a great deal. Because we bought two single tickets and not the couple tickets, which oh, is fine snap. because it's all going to a great cause. Yes. But this event is awesome. There's cocktails all made from rye, lots of different ones, and there's a contest for the cocktails. So people are doing putting forth their best work. There's also lots of great food from great restaurants from around Baltimore, and there's also a contest for them. So they're serving up their best snacks and, and food for you to judge. 
And it's just a great evening. And, you know, it, again, it goes to a great cause. So we hope you'll join us. Go to simplifiedchaos.com slash events and then click on the Rise Up Baltimore link and that'll take you to their Eventbrite page where you can purchase your tickets. So we hope you'll come and hang out with us on March 8th. And you get to dress up. And you get to dress up. It's a lot of fun. And trust me, uh, we, again, you know, we hope we get to see some of you there. Anything else you wanted to add on that one? No, and... Uh... We're just excited to connect with more of our listeners and meet face to face. So if you're in this area, we would just love to see you. And if anyone out there knows some other really cool events that you think we should, uh, you know, get more people to come out and meet. Yeah. And it could be like Virginia or, you know, somewhere that's drivable for us, you know, within three hours, preferably. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't mind spending a night somewhere either. No. So please email us or dm us any ideas that you guys have of some really cool events that you think that it would be a great spot to kind of get everyone together and just connect and have some drinks some food and just good conversation right on all right folks that's going to do it for us today remember if you like this episode please give us a review and share it with a friend or on social media because sharing sparks a conversation Conversation leads to action, and action is how we're able to live a happy and intentional as hell lifestyle. We want to thank you all for listening today, and we will see you again next week. See you later, guys.